Magandang hapon mga kabarangay! Ang ating rules update this afternoon for our Hoopsters crossover ay regarding sa latest rules on backcourt violation, frontcourt and backcourt status. And now, it's time to make a crossover between FIBA, NCAA, WNBA, and NBA. Based sa 2008 rules ng FIBA, masasabing ang isang player ay nasa backcourt status kung siya ay nakatayo na hawak ang bola, having one or both feet touching the backcourt. At para nung masabing ang player ay nasa frontcourt na, while dribbling from backcourt to frontcourt, kailangan ng buo niyang katawan, ang paa at ang bola ay nasa frontcourt. Otherwise, the ball retains backcourt status. At para naman sa ating backcourt violations sa FIBA, the player who establishes a new team control where airborne and then lands in the backcourt has not committed a violation. Also, team control exists on a throw-in. So if the ball is thrown in from the front court to the player with a back court status, it would be a back court violation. So mantalang sa NCAA, ang isang airborne player who is the first to secure the control of the ball after jump ball or throw in may land in one or both feet in the back court without violating. On a throw in, a player may legally throw the ball directly to the teammate in the back court. Bagamat ang NBA and WNBA ay same rule sa FIBA. May additional exemptions na ginawa para sa front court and mid court throw-ins. Sa last 2 minutes sa NBA and the last 1 minute sa WNBA and the last 1 minute of the 4th period and throughout overtime made directly to the back court. Gayun din ang airborne player securing the ball in jump ball situations and in loose ball situations. That's it for this week mga kabarangay kaya abangan nyo uli next week para sa ating Hoopsters crossover. Para sa mga bagong rules, dito lang sa Barangay Hoopsters!